I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm very excited. Oh, we're recording. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're recording. That's the beginning of the episode now. <laughs> because I want honest reactions for Kevin. This, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on our hand trap series. Once again, is the Mitchell Henry hand trap, which I am so proud to have. It took me like a year of like, ta like trying to do an email phone thing with a guy in England, like at... So much effort went in this trap and then the mail scared me and like it finally was here. And then what you guys can't see is this is aluminum from 1925. Oh. oh. It's made out of that much aluminum. This was That's expensive. high end yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. So patent 1925 by Lorenzo Mitchell Henry. So it's not two guys, it's one guy with a hyphenated name. Uh, by the way, this man was born in 1866 and had been an excellent marksman, um, though he actually shot from his left shoulder due to cross-eye dominance. He became a champion pigeon shot, an avid inventor, and developed his own Henright cartridge. Huh. And apparently this trap. The trap doesn't really get mentioned in his biography because he's also famous for other things. I'll talk about that at the end of the episode. But this is the Mitchell Henry. Would you like to take a guess? First of all, it's armed, so sorry. That's what I meant by it being uncomfortable. Yeah, it's... It just hurt. Hold on. It won't hmm. kill me. No, it's fine. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me... Hang on, hang on. Let me point it at your face first. That's, that's fine. fine. That's fine. <laughs> I got it. Oh yeah, it's your favorite. It's not it's tight. It's the DuPont. Yet. Yep, that should look familiar, but it goes one step further. Can you figure out how to fully assemble this gun, Kevin? Well, you got a big wing nut here. Right. We're gonna solve this on air. Do you want me to? Yeah, because we it's not ready. We can't shoot it like this. This isn't Oh, you want me to say arm it? This is stored, yeah. No, no, it's not armed. You want me to arm it? No, no, this is this is a takedown essentially. It's folded. Oh loosen your screw. I see now. This is a stock. Right. Well, loosen your screw. So while Kevin's loosening the screw, I want to point out that we got very lucky because when I managed to get this, I didn't even know. The guy who had it also had the original box for it, which was in terrible shape, but there was enough of the original label left on the inside. You don't have to take it all the way off. Yeah, I know. Okay. There we go. So there's enough of the original label left that I was able to read the instructions, which thankfully kept me from using this incorrectly. Because when you look at it, you would think you would shoulder it. Oh, it's, it is a DuPont. Yes, that's that is the correct handling. Well, you're not left-handed. What do you mean? Are you left-handed? No, I can't hold it like this. Yeah, that's the correct handling. No. Oh, that's not the Dupont then. Yeah, the Dupont went this way. It, no, it's this way, dude. No, I promise. I've I read the directions. It cannot be this way. The arm folds this way. Yeah, it's fine. No. Right. <laughs> you get here, <clears throat> and then. And I'm not going to be able to That's really, exactly what I was doing. But you have to hold it like this. They said reach your arms out as... This no. is the thing. You put it you're, way out. You're literally holding it the way I was holding it. No, you were left-handed. You, you had your left hand You just where your here. hands were, Otis. You just swapped your hand. Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, okay. yes. So you want to hold it like this, and that's the first thing I did. I went, this right. is horrifying because it's not quite right. But then when you read the instructions, it's this at full extension. I don't even know if I'm in frame, but it is massive. So... Are you ready to try it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's lighter than you think, by the way. First impression, very light. Well, it's like aluminum, right? Well, it's all aluminum and brass. Yeah, that's cool. This wing that's awesome looking, by the way. Yeah, isn't that rad? Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's shoot this thing. This is the Mitchell Henry. I'm going to... <laughs> you Bob, go Bob Ross? Ross? I know. He's going to throw a little happy bird. A little happy bird. <laughs> a little happy bird. Then, amongst those, those happy little clouds up there. I'd pay to see Bob Ross do this series. You set the pressure. So this is a third seer type. The way this one locks is with a pin. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not like the Dupont. It's not like the other um, the Blanton. So how far do you think this is going to go? Do you think this is going to surpass the Blanton? No. Well, you're going to have to bayonet thrust it. It's going to Dupont. You don't have to bayonet thrust it. You just hold it way out in front of you. To Oh, for real? Your clay stupid. is not uh, all the way down. What do you mean? See how it's not resting all the way down the right hand thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just try fixed first. Okay, you ready? Yeah, nobody's done this yet. Ah, oh, that's not bad. That was anticlimactic. It really yeah, was. It really it was, was nice. pretty much. <laughs> it, was like, yeah. it sounds worse than it is. Hang on. Maybe we need some more. Do you want some more spring tension? How heavy yeah, is it to already pull it back? It's pretty easy, actually. It was just the noises the last time. That's it why does I went sound so like slow. a bed spring. Is the head loose? <clears throat> oh, rotate the head back. Yeah, get the head back. Yeah. There you go. You want me to thrust or just go? Yeah, thrust it. Thrust it, it right. 
Oh, oh yeah. That's that feels good. like DuPont, though. Yeah. It doesn't feel like Blanton. No, not at all. All right, let's tweak it. Give it some spring pressure. Go adjust the head. There's a screw on the head. Or do that. That's good, too. Just keep doing that. Yeah, it's fine. How can I, can I do more? It's aluminum. Oh, that, that's I don't aluminum. Know. I don't know how uh, much it's going to be able to mm. say. Yeah, I don't know. How much do you trust aluminum? A lot. Especially 20s aluminum. It's tougher. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Now adjust the head. And you want this to be tightened? Oh, yeah, definitely. That felt loose. Oh, that's probably good. See if you can eat that skeet. Boy, that doesn't translate well if you think about it any other way. <laughs> Hang on. Finger off the trigger is probably a good idea. Hey, I'm a professional. Safety third. <laughs> Safety first, guys. All right, yeah, I think... Hang on a minute. A lot's going on here. A lot has transpired since I've done... Jesus, Kevin. Okay. There we go. You good? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I believe in you. Are you gonna do it distance. static, or are you gonna bayonet this one? No, this is distance. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. That's Blanton territory there. That's pretty good. Is that Blanton? I don't feel like it's still short of Blanton. No, because that's what the little uh, silhouetted thing that was out there was. I guess so. Yeah. yeah we should good. get that scary okay. thing out there again. Yeah. Here. Okay. I guess I'm up. So I like. I actually like this. Mm, I think I like it better than the Dupont. To be honest. Really? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna stress it a little bit more. <clears throat> well, <laughs> See, now you've, you've changed the settings, well, yeah. and you've made it worse. No, I've changed the settings so that I can do it superior to you. Right. Right. That's not worse. Me As... Oh, don't do it that much. You trust aluminum. Now Why do gotta... I trust this one more than the others? I shouldn't. Maybe because shouldn't it feels thicker? There's something less terrifying about it right off the bat. I think it's, it's just more refined. Or is it just that we're like, we've become accustomed to... No, that I think head it's... Is, oh my yeah. God. I think, By the way, we get yelled at for not doing the heads on the end, but if you try to do them on the end, you end up like breaking the clay when you're talking it. I think it's in your way. Huh? What? What? Oh, was I touching? That is dangerous as heck. Is that what you were Yeah, keep doing it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, it's good. Oh my god. Uh, I'm a righty, so I'm going to try it this way. Okay, you ready? The other way so the okay, static see. first, because you did static first, right? <clears throat> right. So, oh, that's way softer than I thought. Yeah, it is. That's what I'm saying. The recoil is not like the other one. I mean, because it's, you know what it is? Hmm. The aluminum's lighter. Uh, but does that keep it from fishtailing? But there's not yes. as much weight up front whapping you back and exactly, forth. Exactly. That's what I'm oh, saying. It's, it's lighter. Oh, mass. That's why, that's maybe why you made it out of aluminum. Physics. All right, I'm going to try... Science. Because it's so, it's actually really pleasant to Everybody use. wants yeah. us to do this first. <laughs> you did it. Everybody complains that we don't do that first. We're talking to you. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, we're good. We're still here. Uh, it works, but. Uh, okay. Poor boy. Now you're going to bayonet the rest? Yeah, I don't. Boy, you do kind of have to use it left handed, though, don't you? Oh, huh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh, that broke apart. Yep. Got out there. It still would have been serviceable. I mean, you could have shot it. Although I want to point out it's the one I loaded before. <clears throat> Kevin's a good shot. Putting the arm back, so you know. I do, okay, so here's the one thing I like about this one that I, I don't think is obvious. It's long enough that I can do this. Oh, yeah. And muzzle load it. Yeah. Like a rifle or a old musket. And then, and then honestly, cocking it's a little easier because I have this to brace on. Yeah. Yeah. My gut. And then I'm gonna try right hand bayonet thrust. I know it's awkward for the camera, but not bad. Mine's better, but not bad. To the right of the way. <laughs> There's some advantages here. I will yeah. say, <clears throat> look at this for me. The uh, the nuts at the head of this are coming loose. Right. I'm watching them like wiggle free as we're doing this. So I'm oh, trying to make you. sure they stay torqued down. I'm gonna have to get in there like Keep twin wrenches nice. and adjust it. Yeah, nice. yeah. So, do you want me to set this looser for you, May? For your small I, arms? No, I think it's fine. Remember, you were supposed to be able to throw as far as us with the Blanton. I don't know. We're going to find you, out. You didn't. We're going to science this. Let's okay. see. Mm -hmm. This is Three, the most important four. thing on television. So. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good sound. She's going for the rear load. So just as a, right as after, a heads up. Hmm? 
Did you feel your the spring on your hand? Because it was like all over your right hand. Really? It, it doesn't feel bad. No, but when it closes, when it, closes it, it would have pinched the crap out of your hand. Really? If yeah. it was doing that, I, I that, couldn't See, tell. the black and shield. Notice. Right. Why didn't this do that? The shield Shields seems are like for a babies. good idea. See, that head is really weird. Yeah. I think this is the first one where I felt like I really needed to load it before I cocked it. Yeah. And yeah. honestly, what I'm doing is I'm holding it here because it's not a lot of tension to just <clears throat> hold it here. No, no, but then that triggers there too, which is what I was doing. I'm holding the crossbar and... Yeah, I see, mean, getting that into place is just. You really almost have annoying. to do it when it's extended on that one. It's it's somehow worse than the others because it closes up tighter. Yeah, right? I think you're right. Yeah, well, I'm I'll just gonna. Mm. I'm just Keep gonna your fingers out of there. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right. And like you said, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it down and just load it. That seems like the way to go. With it, it is. It's simpler on this one than the other ones. Like again, because you can rest the butt. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then you just... Now, if you want to beat Kevin, you're going to have to crank, crank up the mainspring even more. Nah, I think I'm just going to try it as is for now. Okay. Well, you have one static pull. And then... Does that really feel better to y'all doing it that way? No, but it's no, feels nothing weird. feels better because it's a weird thing. Get it all the way out and then just pull. Ah, the center. It's those minis. Look at the center. The center just like. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Like an whoosh. Oreo chip. Like it was glorious. <clears throat> He's just on the ground. Yes. So happy you picked that one up. That, yeah. I was wanting it. I was like, please. I know. I thought about it. I was watching it before. I was like, oh, I'll pick that one up off the ground. Why don't you pick it up off the ground? I'm too fat. <laughs> <laughs> Bend over. It, the, the floor is like the Aqua Teen Hunger Force for me. If it just goes there, it catches on fire and doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I want Velcro right. so bad. <laughs> okay, sorry. So now it's just a bayonet thrust it. Oh, God. This is May's moment and I'm ruining it. Oh, oh the lazy I don't know why thrust. that felt bad. Well, it's the trigger. It's she, like, doesn't release, she, threw, she thrust it, then the, released the trigger. No, I pulled the trigger, but the problem is that it's such a full pull. Like You can't leave it even right, a so little bit up. up. You gotta actually pull it all the way. Try doing it left-handed. Was that your pull. third? No, it was my second. Alright, here comes the third. Do it left-handed like we did. Left-handed? Okay. Yeah, I'm try. telling you, that's the way to do it. Because you're pushing with your with your backhand. Hmm. See what I'm saying? Kevin's trap instincts are high. <laughs> that could that could I did go to you Thailand. Good once. Instincts on traps? I wanna point out Kevin's never done any research or had any real prior experience with traps. No, yet. I haven't. He is the best trap handling I can't dude do that. I've oh, ever no, seen. I've cut my cord. I'm gonna fix it. Fix your cord, man. Please. Riding on her mic. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the show. <laughs> Why don't you get the head out of the way? I don't like Get the head out of the way. Oh. Every time. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. See? So left hand there. There you go. So do this. Now, well, you're going to push with that right the right back arm there? This actually feels more right. It's way yeah, better. Because if you're thinking about it, if I'm holding a rifle and I'm bayonet thrusting, this is what right. I would do. It's way better. That's, the way you, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. But you're not going to pull the trigger. What? With your left hand? That's a tiny, stupid no. thing. Is it a bull pup? It, it's a bayonet. It's nothing. Am I good to throw? <laughs> I can't. See? Oh, way better. Yeah, no, that's way far. better. Oh, way farther than Kevin. No, it's not. No, like it's a not. million farther than Kevin. Thank you for being honest. And, yeah, and I'm, so I'm going to beat farther. him. I'm going to beat him like with the, with the gyro pigeon. I'll do that. One more left hand. You want to see if you can get him? You can crank the mainspring. No, no. I don't crank think the mainspring. I, I mean, I can. But. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Redemption arc. Redemption theft. You're just a modest dude. The, the contest is over, so whatever happens post this. Oh, it's this, already done? May's it's just, of course. It's May, May is just a modest youth with a, I can't speak, a modest youth with a competitive spirit. You know, he had it there when he first no, said I just it, milked, and I then just he just kind of like messed it up so many times that it was no longer really that cool. I actually wasn't even listening, so. You don't listen to anything I say. <laughs> this is true. No, he listens to some things you say. That's not true. Only when they're wrong. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, so. All of the things he said. All right, let's see. Um, this is Adjust be... the head. Adjust the head what? Push it out. Out of your way. It, it swings easily That's forward. fine. Let it swing on your hand. Yeah, let right, it swing. Right, that's what it did. Yeah, the let it way, swing though. on the outside of your hand, and then it won't be in your way when you close the mechanism. I can't really close it with my left hand is the problem. I can only close it with my right. Again, though, just keep it out of the way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> the noises go with it so well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. I need to tighten right. nuts on the top of the head. That's part of our problem. I knew a girl once. All right, so I've tightened it up. Let's see how she does. Yeah. Now do do it. 
You got this. Yeah. Put a lot of ass I'm in it. I'm giving you a lot of room so you can succeed. Look at that! It broke apart. Oh, what? It's going down there. Oh. Uh, you know, for one that broke apart. That's yeah. not terrible. It like terrible. shed like ten percent of its mass and just kept going. Right. Yeah. Not All right. bad. How this is feeling? better than the uh, Blanton. Yeah. Well, no, better than Dupont. Maybe it's definitely better than Blanton. It's not as throwing. It's, it's easier, easier to use than the Blanton, which makes it better. Right. That's your outro. Suck it. <laughs> what? Why is no. it? What, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do to deserve that? <laughs> No, no, that's not your outro. Y'all gotta go talk about it. Is the plant it. sucking it, or am I sucking it? I'm completely <laughs> confused as to what that what, meant. No, what was the squat? <laughs> that's what, what got the, me. The, pose, the stance. The yeah. pose. <laughs> what was that? Is that the new that meme? That's super Pokemon. That's the new shirt. Me standing like that suck saying, it. suck it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to wrap this up? one out. Let's okay. wrap her out. So it's a trampoline spring. I like the sound that it was making when you... It's literally what it is. Yeah. Do you want to give your opinions on... Oh, we're no. rolling. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's an art to what we're doing. I we, just don't we, know it. We don't know what the art is. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know what? You know why reality television is scripted? Because reality is awful. Stupid. Yeah. 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 Reality is stupid. Terrible. I know all about reality things. Yeah. So... Uh, Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. <gasps> what? We had a moment. Uh, so yeah. we're uh, gonna get copyright struck for that. <laughs> yeah. So it takes the place of the uh, Dupont. You think that's better than the Dupont? Yeah. I can't do it. I like it. I would take. It's I definitely would... better than the Blanton. The trigger is way better. It doesn't. It isn't as easily to catch as the Dupont. I, I feel like I'm in a weird case because as much as I love it as a device, you know what I mean. I love it. I love this thing. In terms of pure utility, yeah, I feel like I'd rather have the Dupont or the Blanton. Why? I don't know. I think the Blanton offers me a better throw. Like, there's a lot more. I got first of all, it is hard to get past how nice it is to have the cocking arm on the Blanton. This would be better with the cocking arm. Hmm. It would be. Maybe not really. Uh, it's better with the cocking arm. I mean, oh yeah, okay. Would it be better? Yeah. The fact but... that it's made out of aluminum is better. <clears throat> the stock thing is not helping. This? Yeah. Not helping with what? I mean, it's helping that I can put it on the ground and load the front of it. But it it's helps not... you throw it. Oh. Uh, oh yeah. I don't really like the whole like. There's something it about gets the it handling. Away from your and body. Getting... I don't know. I don't like it. Okay. What? Uh... We've switched. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you know, I'm the one that's just like. Mm. I don't have a reason I just don't like it. Right. Oh, that's fine. You can think things are cool. The Blanton's and... the best. First of all, the Blanton throws. It's not the best. The Blanton's the best. Not by a long shot. The Blanton's the best. You know what? I tell you what. Um, you take that. Uh, we got the Blanton. So what we'll both do is, we'll take, uh, we'll put our backs together, we'll walk out 30 paces, turn and fire. No. Because I'm taking the Blanton. Right, no, I'm out. Yeah, Blanton's better. <laughs> <laughs> not how that works. I think, <laughs> not no, no, way to solve I think, that. I think Kevin does need to take that one, and he's gonna kick your butt, do you wanna know why? Because he can just hit me with it? That one long. you can aim better than with the Blanton. <laughs> okay, that's true. Yeah. But but, I still take my shot with the Blanton though. Yeah, because if Give it, him a concussion. Yeah. It, Fine, uh, I call the gyro. Yeah. They're good because it's going to hit you, not us. The gyro <laughs> doesn't go anywhere. Whoever's behind, whoever's behind yeah. you. Yeah, I'm just going to turn. Yeah, yeah we're going right, to turn so, to fire. And I'm yeah, like, do you know how much it costs? Uh, at the time, the 20, no, it must have been hugely expensive. Though. This much aluminum? Right? Yeah, 22. I don't know if inflation started kicking in yet, um, but I couldn't get a price on it, and it doesn't really matter because it's all aluminum. It must have been god awful. I can only imagine. They're very rare, they're very finely made. In the, compared to the other stuff we're seeing. Like, this is easily, materials-wise, the most expensive trap we've seen. Yeah, for sure. Like, materials-wise, this is it. This is Cadillac. And people think of aluminum now as cheap, but yeah. it was not. But we've got this, I mean, look at this beautiful milled, <laughs> like, thumb screw. Yeah. The thumb screw is a giant brass thumb screw specific to this device. It's not something that he got from the hardware store. Right. This one could be from the hardware store. I bet you it's made for this device. It was. And then we got this brass trigger. And it's, it, it, it actually is set up a lot like the uh, bolt release on a Carcano. When you pop uh, the trigger the other way around yeah. and it lets the bolt out. It, it just reminds me of that That's relationship. True. Yeah. Um, and then otherwise cast aluminum. I mean, unbelievable. It is incredibly light for what you're seeing. I cannot express how light it is. It is lighter than the DuPont at double the size. And the DuPont, of course, was like iron. Right. Are you just stowing it away for your fun? 
Well, yeah, I mean, I like, oh yeah, you want to take it away off. This right, right here, mm -hmm. better than DuPont, better than Blanton. Oh, just being able to fold it up. Look at that. That is an improvement, being able to tuck it away. Yeah. And then you would cock it to, I mean, you could unhook the spring and then cock it and then that gets you nice and tight. So you would roll this guy back. This is riveting now. Yeah, we probably, well. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. I think they get the mm -hmm. point. No. We're, we're doing it now, we're, we're doing, in it. We're doing this whole, we're committed. We are in it together. Any B-roll of us just like turning this knob. I, I, I mean, you will when you put it on the table. Remind me to change out this cam camera battery. <laughs> you should change it. We're running on the camera. There we go. So oh, you, you want to take that off? No, you just unhook the front. Boom, look at that. Yeah. Well, you don't break it. It's yeah, it's preferable. You, yeah. It doesn't lock. Okay. Hey, it's ready to go in a box. Yeah, so that's the problem. Oh, it comes in a box. Notice this, by the way. This is kind of interesting because when I got it in, it had no, the spring, of course, wasn't in the, it was detached in the box. Right. I thought it was damaged because the spring tension on the aluminum is such that it actually pulls it down right. into the thing. So the, the sear doesn't work. Right. If you don't have the spring tension pulling this the other way. Right. So I was like, oh man, am I going to have to bend this old aluminum? And, and I hooked up the spring and it went clunk and I went, oh my God. That's a lot of tension. How big is the box? Uh, just a little bit bigger than this. Okay, it's perfect. ratted out though. It's an old press board box. Mm. It is it is gone. It is is not long for this world. But it was there enough that I could uh, properly photograph the because um, you guys will There's see it. I'll show it up again. Yeah, I photographed the instructions and then I'd really like to sit down in Photoshop and clean them up and like make a. A better reproduction. That would be cool. That'd yeah. be nice. So, uh, Lorenzo Mitchell Henry, because there's a little <laughs> more history here, because there's a, I found an interesting thing. He was an early adopter of the motoring sport. So okay. he would do like marathon driving and stuff. Like he would drive a car for a hundred miles, which, which was is a, crazy. A big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he had been in the U.S. multiple times, and apparently had met a young mechanic there who was trying to uh, start an automotive business. Okay, he wanted. Henry? His name was uh, well. He had a five thousand dollar investment. Is what he wanted, right? Okay. And Lorenzo Mitchell Henry went. I ain't got that. And he wandered off. Didn't didn't kick in. That young man was Albert Einstein. No, I'm kidding. Henry Ford. Yeah. So you know Henry Ford's like, hey, can I get five hundred bucks or five thousand bucks? And you're like, no, nah, man, I got this hand trap that I'm working on. I'm gonna make millions. <laughs> I guess not in twenty two. Yeah, I'm gonna but, make hundreds of thousands. But maybe he thought about it. He's like, you yeah. don't even know. Ten years from now, I'm gonna have all that hand trap money. And he's like, eat it, Henry. Right. <laughs> Henry Ford. Oh well. Wow. Whoops. Yep. It should have been invested in GME. Yeah, because I mean, in the 20s, I think going 60 miles an hour was a, would have been a crazy thought. Right. Yeah. yeah. So 100 miles going 30 is so, pretty far. Yeah, this guy was a champion <clears throat> pigeon shooter, auto racer. He's a cool guy. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's no, all I, I make a TV show for the computer. I'm, I'm an idiot that's on a TV show for, for the, the computer. computer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that'll wrap us up. If you like this kind of content, of course, we get it done with your help through Patreon and Subscribestar. And then just follow the show. Normally, we do gun history, but who cares about that? We've got hand traps, son. Yeah. All right. Have a good one. Have a good one. It was like, it was like Pokemon. Go Pikachu! You remember that part in Pokemon where they're like, suck it! <laughs> Have a good one. Have a good one. Together. I love that song. With your friends. Yeah. What song? I just made it up. What song? What song did you think I was singing? I don't know, you're just singing a song. She I said, I love that, that song. song. Oh, I, love I was song like, I thought I was singing something I didn't know about. Yeah, you just made up a song that would already exist. <laughs> Guys, I just like I was going to the bathroom. I had this song about a yellow submarine. Let me tell you about it. <laughs> oh, they did that. No, nobody wrote a song about a yellow submarine. That's not even a thing.